Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I'm taking a look at the difference between HD 4400 and HD 5500 graphics. So, this is Intel fourth generation Ultrabook chip versus fifth generation Ultrabook chip. Um, so, these are both 15 watt chips, similar specs on the processor side. Um, but if we look at the graphics, we'll see that we are going from Gen 7.5 with 20 execution units spread across two sub-slices, um, 200 megahertz base clock and one gigahertz maximum turbo speed. For HD 5500, we move to Intel's new Gen 8 design of graphics, uh, which goes up 20% increase in execution units uh, to 24, but these are spread across three sub-slices. So while we have a 20% increase in the number of execution units, there's also a larger increase in the number of sort of samplers and other units which are shared on a sub-slice basis. Um, the base clock speed as well increases to 300 megahertz, but the max turbo speed comes down slightly to 900 megahertz. So these changes have been facilitated by the move to the 14 nanometer process. Uh, so a physically smaller chip, hopefully better performance for the same power consumption. Um, so let's go to the test that we're running today, which is Unigine Heaven, and see how these changes play out. Moving on to the benchmark, and this is Unigine Heaven 4 Advanced running at 720p. Uh, DirectX 11 mode enabled, but no tessellation, low detail, no anti-aliasing. So quite simple settings, we're just looking at the raw difference in performance between the two chips here um, at sort of playable frame rates, for, or smooth frame rates at least, as this isn't a game in itself. Um, what you may notice is there's around about on average a 20% improvement in performance on HD 5500. You can see in some areas HD 4400 on the left is a little choppy where it's a little smoother on HD 5500. Um, some of this is down to the effect of just the capture card that I was using for both systems, so you do get some tearing in that where perhaps it wouldn't be so noticeable on the actual system. But throughout there is this performance difference, so yeah, you're seeing around about, I think we finish 18% faster on HD 5500, which for the same power envelope is a reasonable increase uh, over the previous generation. It certainly tallies roughly when you consider you have a 20% increase in the number of units available, but that slight drop in max turbo speed for HD 5500 so you're seeing performance around about where you'd expect given the on-paper stats. One thing that is worth noting if you do skip to the end and see the final results, uh, HD 5500 does have a lower minimum frame rate in this test. Uh, going through and watching the video, this can actually be attributed to during one of the scene loads. Um, basically it takes a fraction longer on that run so while you're on a black screen it generated a minimum frame rate that was lower than HD 4400 but during the actual scenes themselves when it's in motion the frame rates do tend to be consistently higher. I hope this has been interesting for you we'll be putting up more HD 5500 content and we have lots more out on the channel so um, please take a look at what we do and if it's of interest to you subscribe.